though we we here a little early this morning, Amen. but we should be able to worship the Lord anytime, Amen. 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 And we should be able to give Him thanks. chapter, and it says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, but also in me. In my Father's house are many mentions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, and where I go, ye know, and the way, ye know. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not where the Thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And if he had known me, he should have known my father also. And from henceforth he know him and have seen him. These are the disciples asking Jesus these questions. And Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father. And this suffers us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believe thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The word that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. Not me, but my Father. Let us wish him good morning.
six months of the year gone, mm -hmm. God has kept us. Yes. Right? Yes. Kept us. And kept yes. us. And kept us. And kept us. So we're going to go to the scripture. Psalms 23. Mm -hmm. The 23rd Psalms. A Psalm of David.
has kept each and every one of us. So we, we just we just thank you this morning. This morning, I don't want to bother you long, but I would like to invite your attention to Romans, the 8th chapter. Romans, the 8th chapter. I want to read you again verse 18. Romans, the 8th chapter. Verse 18. Corinthians, 
2 Corinthians, he, he, he talks about, from, from, from verse 23 to 27, listen, he said, Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant in stripes, above measure in prisons, more frequently in deaths often. Of the Jews five times received our forty stripes, save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I was suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. In journeys, often in perilous waters, in perilous robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness, in painfulness, in watchfulness often, in hunger and thirst, in fastness often, in cold and nakedness. And, and, and you tell me you can have joy through all this. Can, can, I, can I get a witness? Is, 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 it is, hard, is it hard to have joy in suffering? Just be honest. Sometimes it's hard to have joy and suffer. But he, 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 he says, even though he went through all this, he can still experience joy. Because verse 18 says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to, com to be compared with, with the glory of which shall be revealed in us. Now, 2 Corinthians 4 and 17, verses, verses 17 and 18, for our light affliction, he calls it a light affliction. Light afflictions. You mean Paul, all this that you went through, the beating, stoned, and left for dead, light affliction. Because he wanted to preach the gospel. And, 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 and at that time, Christians were persecuted because of their faith in Jesus Christ. People were being put to death. People were being imprisoned, beheaded, hung on a cross because of their faith in Jesus Christ. And, and, and you say, Paul, oh, joy and suffering. But he goes on to say it in verses 17 through 18, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Verse 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So Paul, in other words, he had his focus in the right direction. He had his focus in Christ. Too many times I, I believe that we put too much of our focus on our sufferings. He, he says that they're only for a little while. They're just for a moment. But sometimes it seems like our suffering seems like an eternity. But, but I come to tell you, even though they may last a long time, but, but hold on and hold out, God will make a way. You have to trust him in your suffering. Because if we do not trust God in our suffering, we won't make it. And, and, and we don't, we, we, we haven't experienced the things Paul, Paul experienced in his time and in his culture and in his day. People can just say words to us and we, we get messed up. People can dislike us for no reason and we get messed up. But, but these light afflictions, you still can have your joy and suffering. That's right. It, it, it doesn't seem like it. If I'm a child of God, why should I suffer? Amen. See, I think a lot of times we, we, we people think when we come.
come and give our lives to Christ, that, that all our problems will be over. Now, 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 your problem begins, your life. And we have to understand that, that those who are saved suffer, those who are unsaved suffer as well. But the good thing about it, about, about the ones that are saved and our suffering, we have help. We have help. Because see, he says in that 18th verse that the glory which shall be revealed in us. We know that these old earthly bodies we have, one day we'll receive a glorified body. And see, uh, uh, you have to understand that we, 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 we not just mankind suffer, but all of creation suffers. Because you see in verse 19, he said, but the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. So that lets me know that the whole world because you have to remember, uh, uh, it, it came through disobedience. Yeah. When Adam disobeyed God and listened to his wife and ate of the forbidden fruit, nothing changed. But when Adam bit whatever the fruit was, it had effect on the whole world. Animals began to get by. Things begin to die. Yeah. Because you have to understand in the Garden of Eden, everything was violent, had life. Yeah. But in Adam's disobedience, uh, things begin to die. Uh, their relationship was severed with God. Right. Which brought all these sufferings on us. All right. Verse 20 said, For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope. Meaning that, that God brought this on us. Right. Not, 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 don't get me wrong, I'm not saying God did this, but there was a curse. Yeah. And we all was under that curse. Yeah, right. And if you're not saved today, you're still under that curse. So you need to talk with the Lord. To get yourself from under that curse. And all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ and the finished work that He done on the cross. Yeah, right. Then you can be delivered from the curse. Because yeah, right. see, the earth, it says, was in bondage. And, 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 and not only the earth, but all of us was in bondage, meaning that we were slaves to sin. Yeah. Yeah. The earth is growing. Waiting for it, for it to be redeemed. Because when we meet the Lord in the air, and he changes in the twinkling of the moment, yeah. we'll all be changed. Yeah. But we got to understand those that are in the grave, they'll, they'll, they'll be changed, and then we'll be caught up with them. Those who are, of us who are still remaining will be caught up yeah. and be changed yeah. in that very moment. And then everything will become new. Because in uh, Revelation 21, it says, Behold, a new heaven and a new earth. Right. I'm trying to get there. Yeah. Yeah. When we look at verse 23, and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, that we're groaning, waiting for a change to come. Yeah. yeah, we have a relationship with God. We are the sons and daughters of God, but still there, 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 there is a glorified body we shall receive. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for my glorified body. Are you looking for your glorified body? Yeah, I, I'm glad that, that, that Paul penned this letter 
to give you some hope, uh, to give you the courage to go ahead and praise God in your suffering. All right. All right. See, see, we deal with sickness in these bodies. We, we deal with people uh, turning their backs on us. We deal with all kinds of things in this life. But go ahead and praise him anyhow. Don't let nothing stop your worship of the Lord. I don't care how bad it looks. Go ahead and praise him anyhow. Because he's worthy of all praise. I don't care what may be tired you. Go ahead and praise the Lord. Sister said that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. You may be struggling financially. Go ahead and praise him anyhow. You might not know how it's going to be, but go ahead and praise him anyhow. Children may not be acting right. Go ahead and praise him. People on the job may not be at the right, but go ahead and praise him. Joy and suffering. See, Paul, his focus didn't stop here on this earth. Because in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 19, he said, If this life only we have hope in Christ, we are are of all men most miserable. And sometimes that's where we stop at. Because things ain't going right. All right. Now a lot of right. I'm suffering with this sickness, with this illness, with this disease. But, but Paul was trying to let us know that, that after a while, after a while, you, 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 you won't have to worry about this no more. But but sometimes our focus only stop on this life right here. All right. But I have a life that's eternal All with right. Christ. Yes, I said, I have. Because yeah. right. he promised me. And, and God's word will not turn back forward. Right. It accomplished when he set it out to accomplish. Yeah. So if you've been saved, it ain't I hope I make it in. We we got to quit saying, I hope I make it in. All we, all we say is that Jesus didn't do it then. Did yeah. Come on. If I hope I make it in. No, I'm for sure. Yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. The victory has already been won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not only that, verse 26, we have help. Because sometimes when, when our sufferings come on, we, 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 we really don't know how to pray. We, 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 we want to tell God how to do it. But, but, but I'm glad that the Holy Spirit makes intercession. It said, likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself make an intercession for us with groanings which, which cannot be up. So, so, don't worry that you don't know what to say in your prayer. Because, because the Holy Spirit is making intercession for you. Yeah. And then if you look at verse 34, and, 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 and it says, uh, 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 who is even at the right, talking about Jesus, even Jesus is at the right hand of God, who also making intercession for us. Yeah. Yeah. So when you don't know what to pray, you can just go ahead and moan. Be 
bills on top of bills, yeah. but keep on praising him. Yeah. yeah, suffering. I just like afflictions for a moment. Yeah, yeah it's all right to suffer because if you live for Christ, right. you're going to suffer persecution. Right. Right. You're going to suffer some people letting you down, right. misusing you. Right, abusing you. But keep on praising God because yep. he'll make your enemies your footstool. Yeah. Oh, it's good to be a Christian. It's good to be saved and living in this dark world because you have to understand we as Christians are to bring light to the world. Yeah. Every one of us has somebody in our home or in our family that are going through some suffering, yeah. suffering and don't know the Lord, but we ought to be a witness yeah. to them. Yeah. Yo, I, I went through some things, but I trusted the Lord, yeah. and he brought me through. I yeah. suffered for a little while, yeah. but he kept me in my suffering, and he brought me through my suffering. Yeah. And if anything else come up, which I know it will, he'll keep me yeah. in my suffering. Yeah. And not only that, I can have my joy in suffering. We have to be reminded don't allow these things to get your focus. Because right. if it gets your focus, look up and begin to call on I begin to make everything all right. Yeah, yeah. Suffering don't come. I, I, I don't care who you are, how strong you think you are, or how, how much money you have, or how popular, popular you are. Or how, or how rooted and grounded in the word you are. Suffering is coming. We won't escape this world without suffering. We was born into this world with suffering. All because of Adam. But we have to take our eyes off Adam. We have to quit blaming everybody else when we suffer. And know that suffering is coming. Yeah. But I have a God that's able Amen. to give me joy yeah. in my suffering. Yeah. A God who can deliver me out of sickness. Yeah. A God who can deliver me out of my messed up way. Yeah. A God who can hold me in in my times of sorrow. Yeah. See, a lot of us are still dealing with death of love. So. Right, yeah. But if you continue to trust in the Lord, uh, yeah. he'll make everything yeah. all right. Yeah. He'll help you to get through yes. whatever you're going through. Yeah. See, Paul had his eyes on the prize. Yeah. yeah, Paul trusted in God, though he suffered many things. Because he told us, Paul, you'll suffer many things for my name's sake. Yeah. You're going to suffer many things for his name's sake. Because if you're here, he's yours. You have a relationship, you have a bond, you have a commitment. By us being connected to Jesus, we are the sons and daughters of God. And that a good thing. I got a God that's able to help me do anything. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Verse 28, he says, and we know that all things work together for good to those that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Whether the times are good or whether the times are bad. I got somebody up that know that even when it's good and when it's bad and when it's bad, it's all for his glory. Yeah. Right. See, as I said, we ought to be a witness yeah. to those. They don't know the Lord. That's right. When they see us going through our suffering, That's right. and they see us with our joy, yeah. that would encourage them yeah. to give their lives to the Lord. Yeah. Now, as this sister or that brother is going through this bad situation, and they still can come to the house of the Lord and worship Him in spirit and in truth. And when I see them out, they still smiling, still come, oh, how you doing? God bless you. Yeah. 
We didn't copy these things. Yeah. It was Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't copy all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right. It was him. That's right. He said in verse 38 through 39, he said, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor death nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So I don't have to worry about my problems, about nobody, about no Satan, or devil, or whatever you want to call it. None of his minions, or none of that, whether the thing is good or whether the thing is bad, it cannot separate me nor you from the love of God. And if you have a relationship with Jesus, nothing, I don't care how bad it is, can separate you from the love of God and be a good God. I'm glad, I'm glad that he's a good God. I'm glad he loved me that much that he came in the flesh, that he died on Calvary's cross. Didn't he die? Didn't he know he died? He showed up and he died. Yes, he died. He died. He died, he died. He died for your suffering. He died for my suffering. But he hung out from the sixth to the ninth hour. Came up the ghost and died. Didn't he die? He died. He died. Yes, he died. Yes, he died. That's all right, though. He died. And they took him down, buried him in a fallen tomb. But that's all right. He stayed there for three days and three nights. But I'm so glad. Early, 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 early.
have troublesome times, and you have help. Amen. We extend this invitation to Christian disciples. Joy and suffering. If you're here today and you don't know Jesus, if you're here today and you suffer with something, you can come to Jesus today. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. There's still going to be some struggles, some problems along the way. But you have to realize that you have help. You have help. Because none of us can face the least little problem on our own. Some of us think that we can, but we really can. Because see, you need guidance. You need understanding. Do you want joy in your life? Amen. Sometimes I have to remind myself, you know, as Christians, we all not walk around with our heads hanging down. Amen. Yeah, I have to remind myself sometimes. Because even sometimes on the job, there's trouble. That's right. There's problems. But, but, but God is a God through the Holy Spirit to come and remind you that you're mine. But if you don't have Jesus, your troubles will eat you up from the inside out. Problems can wear on us. Problems can change you. For the, for the worst. It can change your whole appearance. Yeah, you've seen people that, 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 that's going through something that, that's not trusting the Lord. All, right. All it's doing is tearing them down. Yeah, yeah. But you, you, you look at a faithful Christian when they're going through their suffering, their problems, their troubles. If they really, 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 really connected with Jesus, you'll see that smile on their face. You'll see them continue to worship God. Too many people, when, when, when problems come in their life, they, they, they run from the church. But, but, but they're in the place where they need to be. All I'm saying is, if you want that eternal joy, you have to give your life to Jesus. If you want help in your suffering, it's available. You, you, you know, we, uh, there's a lot of place, places when they say that there, there's aid for you if you need help. But, but you have to understand, they close their doors at a certain time. They only open for a certain amount of hours that day. But Jesus is open every day. No matter what time it is. Morning, noon or night. He's open. In the wee hours in the morning you can wake up. Lord, yeah. I need you. You have that available time. But it's going to come a day. He's going to close the door. Do you remember Noah? All those years. He preached. Building up. Looked at him like he was crazy. But see, Noah knew something. And the only reason Noah, Noah knew something was God. God. Amen. I would destroy the earth yeah. with a flood. And they never seen rain. Right. <clears throat> but when he closed,
close that door. It was too late. Don't let the door close on you. The door ain't mama. It ain't grandma. It ain't big mama. It ain't Paul Paul. The door is Jesus. Come on and walk through the door.
that you knew before it even got there. Because you were already there. You're all knowing God. Lord, just help us to trust you. every area of our lives. Father, you heard the names that were called out today. Those that are going through surgery. The death of loved ones. Those that are sick. We lift them up to you this morning. Every bereaved family. Every troubled mind, we lift them up to you. Every unsaved person, Lord, we lift them up to you. Because we know that you are able to do all things. All things are possible with you. Lord, we may experience some trouble as we leave this place. But let us be reminded, we have help. And we can have joy in our sufferings. Father God, as we leave this place, go our separate ways. Keep us. Lord, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. All these blessings we ask in the mighty name wonderful, sufficient name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Let every heart say, Amen.